Hello friends, this is second part of student attendance management module, of student attendance system, and in this part we will discuss how to add student attendance data into system. In previous part, we have seen how to load student attendance data of particular teacher in his or her login area, in jQuery data table, and teacher can filter particular date attendance data by using jQuery data table functionality. Now for insert attendance data, we have go to attendance.php, here we have write button tag, with type is equal to button, id is equal to add button, and in button text we have write add, by click on add button bootstrap for modal will pop up on web page for enter attendance details. After this here we have create span tag with attribute id is equal to message operation, under this we will display success message on web page using jQuery. Here we have add bootstrap date picker library for use data picker feature in form for select attendance date. Now in we want to load, only those student data under modal for attendance, which has been come under particular teacher grade. For this here we have write, dollar query variable is equal to, select star from grade table, where grade is equal to, sub query like select teacher grade id from teacher table, where teacher id is equal to dollar session teacher id variable, this query will return teacher grade details. Below this query, we have write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. After this, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to, execute method, it will execute this query. Now we have write, dollar result variable is equal to, dollar statement variable with fetch all method, it will return query execution result. After this, here we have use bootstrap for modal skeleton for add particular date attendance record, in this modal we have add id is equal to form modal. Under modal dialog class, we have create form, with attribute method is equal to post, id is equal to attendance form. Here in modal title class, we have add id attribute is equal to modal title, by using this attribute, we can display dynamic modal title. Now under modal body class, we have write PHP for each loop, with condition like dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we want to display teacher grade name, so here we have write echo statement with dollar row grade name variable, it will display teacher grade name which has been assigned by admin of the system. For select attendance date, so here we have write input type is equal to text, name, and id is equal to attendance date, in this text box we will use date picker for select date. For display attendance date validation error, here we have write span id is equal to, error attendance date, under this tag it will display attendance date error. Now we have create one table, with four column like, roll number, student name, present and absent, 
here we will load student details for fill attendance data, here it will display only those student data, which grade has been assigned to particular student. Below this, here we have write PHP code like, dollar sub query variable is equal to, select star from student table, where student grade ID is equal to dollar row grade ID variable, it will return student data of grade which, has been assigned to teacher by admin. After this, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar sub query variable it will make query for execution same way for execute query we have write dollar statement variable with execute method it will execute query after query execution we have write dollar student result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method it will return query execution result now we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar student result variable as dollar student variable under this loop we have write open and close table row tag, and under this we have create for table column. In first column, we want to display student roll number details, so here we have write echo statement with dollar student roll number variable. In second column, we want to display student name details, so here we have write echo statement with dollar student name variable. Below this, we have create on hidden variable, with attribute name is equal to student ID in array format, with value is equal to echo statement with dollar student ID variable. In third column, we want to display select present attendance, so here we have write input type is equal to radio, name is equal to attendance status with PHP echo statement with dollar student ID variable. And in value, we have write present, here it will generate unique name of each row present radio button. Same way for absent radio tag, in four column, we have write input type is equal to radio, name is equal to attendance status, with PHP echo statement with dollar student at variable. And here in value we have write absent, and here we have write one more tag like checked, so by default absent radio tag will be selected in each student row. Now we have go to modal footer class, and here we have define on e input hidden tag, with name, and id is equal to action, and value is equal to add, here we have define database operation action. For submit form data, we have create input type is equal to submit, with name and ID is equal to button action, and value is equal to add, by click on this button form data has been submitted. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, and here first we want to enable data picker on attendance date tag. So here we have write dollar with text ID attendance date with date picker method, it will initialize bootstrap date picker plugin. 
Under this method, we have write first option format, and here we have define date format, and after this we have write auto close option set true. After this, we have create clear field function, it will clear all form fields details. Under this function, we have write dollar with form ID attendance form with zero index with reset method, it will clear all form field details. For clear attendance date validation error, here we have write dollar with span tag ID error attendance date, with text method with blank value, it will clear validation error. Now we have proceed for pop-up modal, so here we have write dollar with button ID add button with click event, if admin click on add button then this block of code will execute. Under this, we have write dollar with ID modal title, with text method, and under this we have write add attendance, it will display this text on modal header. For pop-up modal on web page, here we have write dollar with modal ID form modal with modal method, and under this we have write show, it will pop up on web page. Lastly, we have called clear field function, it will clear all form field and validation error on web page, now we have check output in browser. Friends. First we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page here we can see add button has been appear on web page. Now we have click on add button, after click on add button modal has been pop up on web page, here we can see grade name, attendance field, and student list which has come under particular teacher grade. And in each student row we can see, two option like present and absent attendance status, by default all status has been selected absent, and below we can see add button, so teacher can take attendance from this form, in next part we will see, how to submit attendance details to PHP script. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.